Hey parents, before we start this episode, remember that your family can enjoy hundreds of fun and educational free videos like this one for kids of all ages. Be sure to subscribe to get all the new shows and updates at PragerUKids.com. Welcome to Otto's Tales, story time brought to you by PragerU Kids. I'm Jill, and today we're reading about a famous battle that happened in Israel thousands of years ago. You might recognize this story from the Bible. Otto! <laughs> hey, buddy, listen. There's no playing ball inside. You can bust a window with that thing. You know the rules. I know, I know I promised to take you to the park, but the thing is we can't go to the park right now because we have friends who are waiting for a story. See, there they are, hi, hi. I do have a feeling that you'll love this story though. This story is about throwing a ball, well, not really throwing a ball, uh, more about throwing a rock. Uh, oh, I don't wanna give away any more because it's too good. Can I read the story? Yes, okay, you go fetch your ball and I will read the story, good boy. Let's read, David and the Giant. Once upon a time, very long ago in the land of Israel, there was trouble. An army of men called Philistines invaded the kingdom and people were scared. The Philistines and the Israelites had a long history of conflict and the time for battle had arrived. King Saul of Israel gathered his army to defend what was theirs. They set up camp at the very top of a nearby mountain. The Philistine army set up their camp on top of another mountain. And between these two mountains was a shallow valley called Elah. We have a most important battle ahead of us, King Saul warned his soldiers. King Saul was Israel's leader, but deep down inside, he was terribly afraid. One day, out of the ranks of the Philistines' camp, a huge, hulking figure emerged from the crowd. He towered over everyone in height. His muscles bulged, his eyes were bloodshot and fierce. He was too big to be a man, but he was a man, the biggest, meanest, most horrible giant anyone had ever seen. Over nine feet tall, hairy knuckles, legs like oak trees. Roar! The giant shouted. Flecks of spit went flying from his mouth, filled with crooked yellow teeth. You pathetic sniveling rats, he roared. Is there an Israelite who dares to challenge me, the mighty Goliath of Philistia? Send out a champion to fight me one-on-one. -on -one. If you win, we will leave. But if I win, ha <laughs> ha, your kingdom belongs to me. Twice a day, for 40 days, morning and night, this went on. Goliath emerged, armored with a sharpened sword and the heaviest spear anyone had ever seen to challenge the Israelites and decide the fate of their kingdom. King Saul was now even more terrified and shook in fear alongside his own army. <laughs> Who could possibly fight this giant? None of the soldiers were brave enough to answer him. Not too far away was a young Israelite boy named David who watched over his father's sheep. David had seven older brothers who were part of King Saul's army. David was not yet old enough to be a soldier, so he was happy to instead deliver food and goods to help. One day, when David was at camp, he heard Goliath ranting. Is there an Israelite who dares to challenge me, the mighty Goliath of Philistia? Send him to me to fight. David had never seen anyone or anything like Goliath before, but he was a boy with faith and wasn't afraid. He can't beat us, David declared. We are on God's side. King Saul heard about what David said and asked to see the boy. 
Let me fight Goliath, David begged. The king was doubtful. You're just a boy. How could you fight a giant? I watch over my father's sheep, David replied. When a lion or a bear tried to attack, I killed them. God will protect me from this evil giant. The king was impressed with David's faith and also a little embarrassed by his own cowardice. He agreed to let David fight. Without any armor or weapons, David trekked down to the brook and searched the land for five smooth round stones. Then he set off for the Valley of Elah with only his slingshot and a walking stick. Goliath spotted David approaching without any armor or real weapons and cackled so everyone on both mountains could hear him. <laughs> what am I, a dog? <laughs> the giant bellowed. Are you going to hit me with your little stick? I'll rip your guts out and feed you to the birds. David looked into Goliath's flaring eyes and thought of God. You may be bigger than me, he said. You may have a sword and a spear, but I fight for what's right, with faith in God, for truth and goodness. That's more powerful than anything. Goliath turned purple with rage. <laughs> his hefty arm raised his spear and charged at the boy. David was quiet with confidence and slipped one of the stones into his sling. He wound up and with every ounce of strength he had, he slung it. The stone whisked straight through the air. All soldiers stood in shock, watching, waiting. Then, thud! The stone struck the galloping giant right between the eyes. Goliath thumped to the ground. The earth shook, and both armies were silent. Seeing their once defeated champion conquered, the Philistines fled in terror, and the Israelites continued to live in their land. Who was this David who slayed Goliath? The kingdom of Israel was saved thanks to a young boy armed with faith, hope, and the courage to do what was right. The end. Did you recognize this story about David and Goliath from Israel? Yes, it's from the Bible. You know, David was just a kid when this happened. He wasn't a soldier and he didn't even have a real weapon, but his faith in God was strong and gave him courage. How'd you like the story? I knew you'd like it. Listen to Otto. I don't think that any of us will ever need to fight with a real giant, if you know what I mean. But we might one day be given a chance to stand up for what's right and wrong. And those things can sometimes feel like giants in our lives. With faith and courage like David, we can overcome anything. Do you understand? Oh, <laughs> you understand. Thank you for watching Otto's Tales. Check out some of our other stories too. Keep reading, keep watching, and remember <laughs> that trusting God will always give us courage to do what's right. Okay, you ready to go to the park? Yes, I had a feeling. Let's go. <laughs> Bye guys, wait up. Thank you for watching. You know we've got more episodes, right? Watch the whole series on our website. And parents, you can subscribe at PragerUKids.com.